All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world knows as Jesus Christ. And I want to give double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who we learn this truth from. And I want to say Shalom to the hopefully elect. And today the message is going to be titled The Sign of Jonah. Going to two days. Uh, that's the sign that Yahweh by Shemal Shai has given the world a to see that uh the devils, the uh Edomite, the so-called white boy, that his rulership is on a decline. Hey, but it's only particular souls out here who's gonna uh, receive that sign. You know, and take heed unto it because the rest of the people were blinded. You see? Well, I'm going to start right here in the book of St. Matthew, chapter 12, and verse 38. And it says, Then certain of the scribes and of the Pharisees answered, saying, Master, we would see a sign from thee. You see? And when the faculty went grab the word sign real quick, they were asking for a sign. This is the word sign, G 4592. Get straight to the point. It says, uh, okay, it says, of signs portending remarkable events soon to happen. You see? So they were asking them uh, uh, other signs, man. What's going to be a sign? And it says, continuing on, verse 39, but he answered and said unto them, an evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign. You see, so, and that's two thirds, you so called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. You're evil and a dosha generation. You, you claim you want to see a sign, but the Lord, He telling you what the sign is going to be, and you don't even uh, take heed into them. You, you just brush it off. You see, you don't have, uh, you're, you're, you're mentally retarded. You see, it says, but He answered and said unto them, an evil and a dosha generation seeketh. After a sign, and there shall no sign be given to it, but the sign of the prophet Jonah. You see, that's the only that Lord said that's going to be a sign that's going to be given to this wicked and adulterous generation. The sign of the uh, the sign of the prophet Jonah. And what did Jonah do? He went out and he prophesied against the city of Nineveh. You see, I'm gonna grab this because they asked for a sign. And this what and that's what the Lord told him. That's the only thing they're gonna get. When you go over verse, this is the book of Yep, St. Matthew chapter 13 and verse 10. And the disciples came. Matter of fact, I'm gonna grab this first. The book of St. Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 3. I'm gonna start at verse 3, but this is what the title says. It says signs of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah's return. You see? St. Matthew 24, verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? You see? So when the disciples came unto him and inquired of the end, he told them the sign, but he told those wicked scribes and Pharisees, the only sign, the wicked and the dosha generation, the only sign you're going to get is the sign of the prophet Jonah. You see? And that's why you have the men set up throughout the four corners of the earth, out on the highways and byways, constantly doing lessons with garments on, uh, uh, proclaiming the words of Yahweh by Shem al Shah. And, and you niggas can't get it, man, because it was not given unto you. You see? And it says the end of the world. That's going into the end of this age, the end of this period. You see? The end of Esau's Edom rulership. You see? And jump it down to verse 14. And that said, what's going to be the signs of his coming? St. Uh, Matthew 24, verse 14. And, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. You see? There's that sign of Jonah. You see? You got the men throughout the four corners of the earth coming in the names of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai uh, proclaiming of the destruction of America and the um and the coming kingdom of our Lord Yahweh Shai. You see? That's that sign of Jonah. Going back to the book of matter of fact, I'm gonna grab this, the book of Romans, chapter eleven, 
in verse 7. And it says, What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, or that sign, that comfort. You see? It says, But the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. You see? So this only for the elect. Now I say the election have obtained it, but the rest were blinded. That's why a Lord Yahweh told them, You're going to get the sign of Jonah. But these people. Hey, they see this sign and they, and they go to mocking and they scoff at it because they don't believe in the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh You see, it says, as Salaki, it says, according as it is written, the Most High have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear until this day. You see, eyes that they should not see. That's going to, um, hey, they're blind. It said the spirit of slumber. When you go into the word slumber, it said the spirit of stoop. Lord has rendered these people just stupid, man. You see? So now they can't get it. And they just brute beasts. Now they go to speaking evil about the uh, the truth. Matter of fact, let me grab it. Um. Uh, you know, this is the book of 2 Peter, chapter 2, and verse 12. And it says, But these, as natural brute beasts, made to be taken and destroyed. Two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, hey, you was um, made to be destroyed. You see? Because the Lord, he said, the election have obtained it, but the rest were blinded. Hey, you blinded, you're not uh, meant to get this truth. You see? <clears throat> the Lord got this spirit on you uh, just to be a scoffer, you see? And it says, But these as natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed speak evil of the things that they understand not and shall utterly perish in their own corruption, you see? The Lord call you brute beast, man. You speak evil of the things that you understand not since the Lord had the spirit of slumber upon you and have blinded you from this word, and hey, you speak evil of it, man. But the Lord said, you're going to, uh, you shall utterly perish in your own corruption, man, speaking evil against the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh You see? And uh, going back to the book of St. Matthew, chapter 13, and verse 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. You see, it's not given unto you niggas to um to understand this truth, man. That's why we have to be very grateful and thankful that Yahweh by Shemal Shah has opened our eyes and our ears to, to to see and understand this truth, man. Because for the ones who don't get it, they mock and they scoff at it, and they're ultimately going to be put to death. You see, matter of fact. Yeah, what I, I forgot, I meant to grab this one as well. Uh, the book of Second Peter, chapter three, and verse. Yep, three. It says the coming day of the Lord. It says, knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts. That's why it's not given to everybody. It's it's just prophesied, set up that way, and saying. Where is the promise of his coming? For, for since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. You see? That's why uh, you niggas, it, it wasn't meant for you. That's why you brute beast, man. You can't get it, so you just, this is what you do. You go to scoffing and, 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 and saying, okay. Well, when when is gonna happen? You talking about some of famine, bro? It's McDonald's, we got this dollar menu, you, you know. But you you niggas are blind. You can't see uh, how the Lord He's been destroying the livestock, killing off ten thousand plus cows at a time, uh, millions of chickens at a time, burning down a uh, whole food distribution warehouses. You see, all these stores are closing by the hundreds. But you people can't see that because you've been blinded, you see? And you speak evil of this word, and it's going to come upon you as a thief in the night, man. Just like uh, Hurricane Barrel. You got the brothers out there uh, in Jamaica. 
speaking the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Hey, that's that sign of Jonah. But you don't see uh, people stopping by, uh, talking to those brothers hey, by the boatload. People going on by their day. But guess what? Hurricane Barrow came through and destroyed a lot of the uh, a lot of the Caribbean islands, man. It hit Jamaica, and it said it caused it destroyed farms. So that's gonna bring in that famine. You see, going back to the um to the main topic, the Book of Saint Matthew, chapter twelve, verse thirty-eight again, then says. Then certain of the scribes and of the Pharisees answered, saying, Masters, we would see a sign. Salaki. Salaki. Now, this is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 12, and verse 38 again. It says, Then certain of the scribes and Pharisees answered, saying, Master, we would see a sign from thee. But he answered and said unto them, An evil and adulterous generation seek of after a sign and there shall no sign be given to it but the sign of the prophet jonah you see and this is the book of jonah chapter 3 and verse 1 and it says and the word of yahweh by shimao shah came unto jonah the second time saying arise go unto nineveh that great city and preach unto it the preaching that i bid thee you see and that's the same stead that we coming in. Lord, they said, arise, go into Nineveh, that great city. And ain't this Babylon the great, a great city? And that's what we did. We arose and we came out. We out on the highways and byways through the spirit power Yahweh by Shema Shah on the internet proclaiming the words of Yahweh by Shema Shah. Uh, preaching finna bring in that great flood, man. You see? Let me get the word for preach. 8, 7, 1, 21. And it says, to call, recite, read, cry out, proclaim. You see what the scripture says? Uh, cry aloud, spare not. Matter of fact. Book of Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 1. It says, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sins. And that's what we do. We out on the highways and byways when we're on the internet. You see it says, um, lifting up our voice as a trumpet, showing the people their transgression. We tell you, stop eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, smoking squares, commit adultery. Want to stop, want to be a gangbang or a harlot. You see? Because ultimately, you living in that fashion is going to have you killed. By a spirit created for vengeance of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You see? And that's what Jonah did. And that's, and that's why the Lord said that's the only sign you're going to get, the sign of Jonah. But you had niggas ride by and you look at it and think, oh, they crazy. No, this is what the Lord uh, told us to do. You see? He said, if you love me, feed my sheep. Hey, go out on the highways and byways. That, hey, that's church right there. That's the true church with men out on the corner. Proclaiming the words of Yahweh by Shema Shah, reading out of the Bible. When you go to church, they don't do shit but sing and, you know, shits and giggles, man. Shugging and jiving. You see? But it says to proclaim. And one of the words down here is proclamation. Simple Google definition of uh, proclamation. 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 Yep, it says a public or official announcement, especially one dealing with a matter of great importance. You see, it says a decree or order. Announcement. Then it says a public announcement, publishing, broadcasting. That's what we do when we go live and we post these videos. And hey, we're publishing videos. We're broadcasting the words of Yahweh by Shema It says... Yep, yep, they're saying they said the public or official announcement of an important matter. 
And that important matter is America is finna be destroyed. It's finna go down. Uh, it's finna be hyperinflation. Everything is finna go up. The dollar is gonna collapse. Esau, he's gonna present a uh, uh, RFID market chip unto you as your new form of payment. He's gonna be uh, decapitating people who don't wanna uh, receive it. And if you do receive it, you're gonna be melted here by the way of a nuclear missile in World War III. And we're here to tell you and warn you of all these things. Tell you don't take the mark of the beast. Because if you stand stiffly for the names of Yahweh by Shema Shah, he'll lift up a standard for you. He'll, he'll uh, do a miracle for you. You see? Or well, he's just going to give you the spirit to go out in an honorable death and die for the names of Yahweh by Shema Shah. You're going to be risen first on the chair to receive that salvation. You see? That's the public announcement hey, that we're making. America's going to be destroyed. Repent, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and return back and to the true God of heaven and earth, which is Yahweh being the heavenly father and Yahweh Shai being his only begotten son who the world know as Jesus Christ, who came down in the flesh and shed his blood for our sins. You see? Back to the book of Jonah 3 and verse 2, it says, Arise, go unto Nineveh, that great city, and preach unto it the preaching that I bid thee. You see? And we're preaching the words of Yahweh by Shema Shah. These are not our own words that we just coming up with. These are the words of Yahweh by Shema Shah. Everything we say, hey, we have a scripture to back it up. You see, it says, So Jonah arose and went unto Nineveh according to the words of Yahweh by Shema Shah. Now Nineveh was an exceeding great city of three days journey. And Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey. And he cried. And said, "Yet forty days, and Nineveh shall be overthrown." You see, so he went out and he and he prophesied against the place. But the difference is, hey, these uh the people at the time. Read verse five. It says, "So the people of Nineveh believed uh, the powers and proclaimed a fast and put on sackcloth from the great, from the greatest of them even to the least of them." You see, that's the difference. These people they believed. On the judgments of Yahweh by Shema Shah. So he didn't destroy it right away. You see? That's why um, the, you niggas in today's time, you niggas uh, don't even care about the words of Yahweh by Shema Shah. You hear, this, you hear the message and you see uh, Kim Jong un promote his missiles. You see these damn Arabs promote their missiles. You see the, um, the wars throughout the four corners of the earth, how they're bombing. Uh, children and old people over there in Russia and Ukraine. You see uh, how they bombing children and old people over there in um, Israel and, and Gaza. You see? All these things are taking place here throughout the four corners of the earth. It's all on the internet. It's right here in your face and you you people still can't see it. It's awesome because the Lord just going to kill you niggas, man. But you see, the point is, these people, they believe on uh on the words that that jonah spoke and uh this was the outcome for them uh, verse 10 it says and the power saw their works that they turned from their evil way and the most high repented of the evil that he had said that he would do unto them and he did it not and that's what we're out here doing we tell you hey how about you mouth shock and get ready to destroy america He's going to bring it down, uh, 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 the infrastructure first. You know, the cash is going to fail. It's going to be a great famine. It's going to be scarcity on food. People are going to just wild out. America is going to turn to the biggest third world country ever. You see? And then awesome, it's going to get wiped off the face of the earth in World War III. And we're telling you to repent. And if you believe uh, what we're telling you, it'll do good. If it was the engrafted word, which is here to save your soul. You see, and you if you sincerely repent, and like it said, it said the Most High saw their works. He saw that they believe. Cause, hey, that's a work they believe, and what they did, they 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 repented. They put on sackcloth. They went on a fast. You see, they were trying to earn those like the apostle said, those brownie points for you. How about Shemal Shah? And it says, and the Most High saw their works that they turned from their evil way. You see, they turned from that evil way. And the most high repented of the evil that 
that he had said that he would do unto them, and he did it not. So the same way we tell you, the Lord going to kill you by the way of a wild beast, or apparition, or famine. If you hearken unto these words, the Lord, and hey, he'll see that work within you. Hey, and Lord will. And that's what we're hoping, that the Lord, um, he turned he turn from the evil. I mean, that he, um, what it says, and the Most High repented of the evil that he said that he would do unto them. We hoping that the Lord don't do those uh, great judgments unto us, starve our kids out. We had to watch them die, you see, or have an apparition appear unto us. Or a wild beast out of nowhere. Lord, have an anaconda strangle you to death, man. And swallow you whole, man. Talk to you. Lord, have an animal talk to you while he kill you, man. And he, he made a donkey talk. So how much more in these times? Lord finna really bug you niggas out, man. Say so it's gonna be a time like never before. And I just think about the Jungle Book. How he had that big ass anaconda. Slithered up on him. Wrapping around him, he talking to him, finna kill him and eat him, man. Lord finna do grievous judgments unto you niggas, man. But we tell you to repent and return back into the powers. But going back to the book of Second Peter, chapter three, in verse three, no, in verse four. Yeah, I saw the verse three again. It says, "Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts." And saying, where is the promise of his coming? You see, they were like, hey, they've been talking about this. My granddad then was talking about, uh, the, he, he was like, y'all know about this stuff. But, but them niggas don't believe, man. They think America going to continue to go on and go on. But the same way the Lord shut it down the first time, the Lord going to get ready to shut it down for good, man. And it says, for since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. You see? They think this place is going to continue to go. Man, my granddaddy them been talking about this, bro. America, man, we got the greatest army ever. They don't think America can be fucked with. But the Lord, you how about Shema Shai finna show you niggas real soon that America ain't shit. And he gonna uh, do away with it real soon. And this why... Uh, times are continuing to go on and go on and go on like this though this is the book of 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 8 it says but beloved be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day we on a whole nother time frame man the Lord he on a whole nother time you see that's why you could you thinking man this is gonna go, go on forever no it says, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. You see, that's why, because the Lord said, he's not slack concerning his promise. Yeah, he's, he, his men been out here for the longest telling you how America's going to go down, the dollar's going to crash, the market of the beast is going to be made mandatory, which they are by the market chip. World War Three is going to take place. Yeah. He had his men out here for the longest. Start with the parson elders, uh, elder Albert Bivens. Hey, for, for years saying these things. But it's because the Lord is long suffering to us usward. It says, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. That's the love that Yahweh Bashim al Shah has for you niggas. You see, for the, for so like, I mean, because that's what two-thirds are, man. You niggas, man. You, that's how you live. You living like a damn Edomite, man. Because that's the, the real nigga. True. You see? But that's the love that Yahweh by Shema Shah has for the nation of Israel. You know, so like, but you, you, you niggas want to live wild. You think it's going to continue to go on. You don't think, hey, these things are true. So it's going to come upon you as a thief in the night, man. When the dollar collapse. And Esau tell you to take that 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 chip, you niggas gonna do it because you gonna think, well, this just the new way, and it's gonna be over with for your life, man. But once again, it says the Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. You see, so the Lord He wants you to repent. The Lord don't want you to uh, continue to be a wicked ass nigga, so He have to kill you. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 18, and verse 23. I'm going to read it in the um, 
in the KJV first. It says, have I, have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die? Save the Lord, Yahweh, by Shema Shah, and not that he should re return from his ways and live. And this is what it says in the NLT. Do you think that I like to see wicked people die, says the sovereign Yahweh by Shem Shah. Of course not. I want them to turn from their wicked ways and live. You see, the Lord said he don't even like seeing you wicked niggas die, man. He said he want to see you uh, return from your wicked ways. You see? Jump it down to the last verse. Uh, Ezekiel 18 and 32. 32, he says, For I have no pleasure in the death of him that dies, said the Lord Yahweh by Shemal Shah. Wherefore, turn yourselves and live ye. You see? Hey, so repent and return back into Yahweh by Shemal Shah so you can live, so you can be preserved uh, through the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Because, hey, this is going to be a time like never before. You're going to be the greatest destruction ever, man. We're hoping that Yahweh by Shemal Shah blesses us. To be able to have food to eat, clean water to drink, and be preserved and make it through uh, the times to come, man. All right, Fagin, I'm going to close it out right here. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, Sirach 5 and verse 7. And it says, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. So the Lord said, make no terror, man. You see, you, you see the men out on the highways and byways. Hey, go out there and, and inquire. You see? Because, hey, we're in the last days. We're in the times of the destruction, man. And we see it by all the signs that Yahweh Bashim al Shah has shown us. Hey, earthquakes, wars, rumors of wars, famines, pestilence, evils, and only evils. The love of many waxing cold, all the judgments that Yahweh Bashim al Shah is doing throughout the four corners of the earth, all the uproars uh, of the people, all these different um, riots everywhere. You see? Now, why the Lord said, hey, make no terror. He said, for suddenly shall the wrath for the Lord come forth. Just like lockdown come. Once lockdown, all these different uh, unrighteous decrees there ain't gonna be no more going outside none of that shit this shit gonna get shut down and you're gonna be asked out you ain't gonna know what to do and you're gonna be left uh to die man you're gonna be left to the elements to be put to death you see you and your children and we're here just to warn you of these things lord we're to protect uh, our souls first and foremost in our households and lord will you take heed and protect uh, your soul and your households as well so, hey, uh, Lord willing, this video is edifying to you, brothers and sisters. I want to end it off by giving our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who we learn is true from. And shalom to the hopefully elect.